everybody, this is Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com and I'm coming to you today with another photography quick tip. And in this quick tip today, I want to show you how to manipulate the colors in your image in order to essentially fake an autumn scene. Okay, so we're going to be taking this image that was shot in the middle of the summer when everything's green and giving it a more fall kind of feel by changing those greens to yellows and oranges and, and things like that. Okay, now normally I wouldn't want to do this with an image of this nature. I don't really like completely changing uh, the, the season or the colors uh, entirely in the image. But sometimes you might be feeling creative or, for example, maybe you have an actual autumn scene that you photographed and the colors didn't come out quite as vibrant as you wanted them to. And so knowing this technique can help you to draw out that vibrance a little better and show the scene as you remember it. Okay, so I've opened this up in Adobe Camera Raw. Normally I might start in Lightroom, but I'm also going to be doing some edits in Photoshop. And so to streamline this process, I'm just starting here in Adobe Camera Raw. But you can make the Camera Raw edits also in Lightroom if needed. And especially for an image that was actually shot during the fall, Lightroom edits or the Adobe Camera Raw edits may be all you really need to add to um, that sort of vibrance and make it feel a little more like fall. But in an image like this, it's going to have to be a little bit more comprehensive. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. So I've already started with some basic edits. Not going to worry about that right now. What we're going to do now is go to this little tab, the HSL tab. Okay, and you can see here you have all these different colors that you can adjust. And so what we're going to do is adjust these colors so that they make the greens feel a little bit more like what you would expect in the fall, some more yellow and orange. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take this green slider. You see we're in the hue tab. We take this green slider and move all the way over to the yellow. Okay, negative 100. So you can already see that's made a little bit of a difference here um, in, in those trees there. Okay. Then our yellows, we're not going to do quite as strong. We're going to move it maybe around negative 60, okay? And then our oranges are going to go more towards the red at about negative 20. So you can see we kind of stagger this off. We don't want to just push them all um, over to the left here. So we sort of staggered them off a little bit. And if I do a before and after, you can see what the camera raw edits have done so far. So that's already starting to look a little more like autumn. Now let's go to the saturation tab and let's increase the greens a little bit and the yellows too and the oranges while we're at it. And we can maybe adjust the luminance here so that the yellow is a little bit stronger. Maybe the greens too, maybe a little bit brighter there. Okay, so again if I do a before and after, you can see we've already started to get a little more of that fall feel here. Now it's not quite strong enough, so we're going to open this image into Photoshop now. And okay, so now we have it open. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on my background layer and turn it to uh, a, just a normal layer basically by choosing layer from background. And then if you go down here to this little half white and half black circle, click on that and then go to hue saturation. This will open up a hue saturation adjustment layer. And now in a different layer, you can make some adjustments um, to the colors in this image. So let's go down from the master. We don't want to change all the colors. We just want to change a couple of them. So let's go down to green. And using this little picker tool, we'll cl uh, click on somewhere that was green before. Something like that will be good. And you'll see it changes the name to yellows too. And now we just want to move this slider over a little bit. Now, if you go too crazy, you know, you end up with something blue or kind of, I don't know, spacey or whatever you want to call it. But that's not quite what we want to do here. We just want to make it a little bit more into the orange realm. So we'll just move that to about minus 20. And then we'll also go to the yellows and do the same thing. Not quite so strongly, maybe just about minus five here. Okay. Actually, let's go back to the yellows too. Let's move that back just a little bit. Maybe around that negative 17 sounds good. And we'll increase that saturation a little bit. Okay. Now, if we close that, you can see that um, that's a little bit more like fall. The only problem is that in changing those colors, we've also adjusted the colors down here at the bottom. So it doesn't look very natural or normal at all. So the good thing about an adjustment layer is that you can mask that layer out. And so we'll just choose a black brush, make it a little bit bigger here, and we'll move that opacity down to maybe around 40, 39 is fine. And we'll just start painting over that with the black brush. Make sure you're on that layer mask there that comes with the adjustment layer. And just paint over that, do that again. And you can see that will mask out some of that color and make it not be quite so red as it was before. OK, 
Okay, just go over wherever you feel like you need to. And now another thing we can do here as well is we can lower the opacity of this layer. Now if we turn it all the way off or turn it down to zero there, you can see that it just reveals what we did in uh, Camera Raw. We don't want to do that quite, so we want to increase this just a little bit, maybe to around 70, 71. Let's go 75 or 80 maybe is a little bit better. Okay, and there you have it. And that is how you can fake a false scene in your image in Photoshop. And I've done this really quickly. Obviously, there's more edits you can do to be a little more specific and make this look more natural. But hopefully, this will give you an idea of how to begin the process and create a fall image or enhance a fall image um, when needed. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask away in the comments. This has been Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.